Hey guys, so this past month I made an amazing discovery and that discovery is booktube. I'm not really sure why I didn't know about it before but I stumbled across a book review and now it's so bad that I really can't stop watching booktube videos. They actually are kind of what inspired me to do my own book collection bookshelf tour videos for the past two Wall Wednesdays and I actually have the final installment coming up this Wednesday, so get excited. So after about a month of watching all of these booktube videos and then making my own book collection tour, I think I've kind of decided to make this a booktube channel. Kind of. I'm not actually sure what it means to be a booktuber. Does that mean I only have to make videos about books? Or I started posting again because I was kind of tired with my blog and I still don't think it's really going to go anywhere. I'll probably finish out the two years I have left here at school and then let my blog die because I think that's sadly what it's heading for. With YouTube you get to talk to people and you get to see reactions and I really have enjoyed that so far. So I guess this is my sort of kind of awkward introduction to booktube. Hello. As for what I like to read, well I'm an English major so I'm always reading a little bit of everything but personally I like to read everything from classics to YA though I'm not really a huge fan of romance. Yeah, it has to be a really, really special romance for me to get into it, especially if it's YA. So I guess my plan is to talk about books on this channel in some way or another because I think I would end up doing that anyways. For now, I thought I would give a little shout out to some of the booktubers I've been watching this month. The very first person I'd like to give a shout out to is Liz of Elizzy Books because as soon as I figured out there was such a thing as booktube or booktubers, I just basically searched that and her booktube news was the first thing that came up as well as her Welcome to Booktube video where she collected a bunch of different um, clips from different booktubers just welcoming new scaredy cats like me into the community. I love the booktube news for someone who's just getting into it. It's perfect. The next person I'd like to give a shout out to is Alyssa from Book Reviewer 21. This is a very special shout out because I don't have many followers right now or subscribers, which I don't mind because I don't think you should make videos for, for the the purpose of becoming famous. I think you should just make videos because you have something you want to say. Anyways, Alyssa is one of my very loyal 8 subscribers and I just want to say thank you for subscribing. It means a lot to me. I love the way she includes library books in her book hauls because um, as someone living on a college student's salary, there's really not a ton of money to be spending on books, so I like the idea of being able to include library books and book hauls and not always having to go out and buy tons and tons of books that I don't have any room for if you've watched my bookshelf tour. The next person is Matthew Apocalypse, and I believe he used to go by Urban Apocalypse, and I've only watched a couple of his videos because I can't seem to find a bunch of them. I'm not sure what happened with them, but I just really love the way that he talks about life and about books and reading. The next person is Amy from Amy in the Blue Box, and I believe she's from New Zealand. And basically why I started watching a bunch of her videos is because I really liked her voice. Like most Americans, I'm kind of obsessed with other accents and I find them very lovely to listen to. In every single video that I've watched of hers, it just kind of feels like you're sitting down with a friend and talking casually about books and I really like that. The next person I'd like to thank or mention is Katie from Chapter Stacks and I know that she's also I think a junior in college currently and I could totally tell she has a very intelligent very eloquent way of stating her opinions. The first video of hers that I actually watched was her response to why more girls booktube than boys and she had actually gone out and researched statistics to share in her video and I was so impressed and yeah I definitely will be checking out more of her videos in the future. The next person is Sushila from Super Sushi Pizza which is really hard to say. I tried to film this last night and I had to say it like five different times. She's got a very clever quiet, witty humor about her. I love that her favorites videos at the end of each month aren't just books, but they're booktubers and random little trinkets that she's found and things like that, and that's kind of more the direction I want to go in, so uh, she's been a very good role model. The next person is Priscilla from The Readables, and I've heard her mentioned in so many um, booktube videos. I don't know if she's one of the first booktubers, but she seems to be one of the first really popular booktubers. And I just love how excited she is about reading. She's a graphic designer, I think, so I love her intro and like all the little design elements in her videos and she just makes me very excited to read. The number one person that I need to thank or give a shout out to is Sana. 
I think that's how you pronounce it. If I butchered that, I'm so sorry from Books and Quills. She was actually the very first booktuber that I came across. I watched one video and was automatically hooked. I think I've gone through her entire channel once or twice already this month and I just love the format of her videos. I like that she's so concise because as is obvious now, I like to talk and I'm really bad at cutting things down. She just reads a very wide variety of books and then discusses them very analytically, which as an English major, I highly appreciate and respect. So those are all of the lovely ladies and guy who have inspired me to kind of start talking a little bit more about books and maybe focus this channel a little bit more because I feel like right now it's kind of all over the place. I will still be doing videos that will then be posted on my blog because as much as I like talking about books, sometimes I just want to throw out a random opinion because that's what the internet's for, sharing your opinions. I'm just gonna leave this open and we'll see where it goes. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye! bye.